Welcome to another edition of House, House Rules. Rules. I'm Dad. And I'm Nicholas. And we just got back from a big family trip down to Walt Disney World where... Why are you wearing a wig and sunglasses? No, I'm not. But anyhow, we just got back from a trip to Walt Disney World where among the amazing things that we did, we went to Epcot and ate around the world. They have 11 countries there where you can sample foods that honestly make you feel like you are in that country. How do we know it's 11 countries? Because we counted. Japan. France. Mexico. Norway. China. Germany. Italy. Morocco. United Kingdom. USA. 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 And Canada. Uh, did we go to Canada? We walked right past it. They don't have any good food there. I think we could have gotten some maple syrup. Our favorite meal was at the Yorkshire County Fish Shop. Fish and chips straight from the United Kingdom. They were fantastic. What'd you like about them? I liked that they were big, crispy, delicious, and they came with fries. Mm. Do you remember how big they were? So big. They were like the size of an entire fish. The crazy thing is, it was the last place that we ate on our tour. So by this point, we were stuffed. And they were so good, we finished all of it. The best bite of food we had was braised oxtail with pigeon pea rice. What's more disgusting, the pigeon or the pea? Oh. <laughs> Not P-E-A, P-E-E. -E. Okay, okay, let's redo that line real quick. Okay. Do you like pigeon? No. They're disgusting little filthy beasts <laughs> that eat whatever you leave on the floor. But they taste delicious. Okay, okay, let's redo that line real quick. Okay. It came with pigeon pea rice, which was much cheaper than their pigeon poop rice. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> No, that is disgusting. You can find the braised oxtail at a place called La Isla Fresca. That's located between France and Morocco. France and Morocco? Isn't that Spain? <laughs> yeah, well, yes it is, but they don't have Spain. Well, that's not my problem. Next, we've got the best picture of something that Nicholas actually didn't eat. When you look at this picture here, you see that he is about to go knee deep into a lamb kebab in Morocco. Why didn't you eat it? I had that white stuff. That was freaky. See where I'm coming from? I don't. Ooh, it gives me the cringes. Mm. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> now it is time for the As Big As My Head Award. And that is a jumbo pretzel from Germany. It looks like you're wearing a football face mask. Face mask. Face mask. Defense. 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 Number, 21. Number 21. 15 yard, 15 yard penalty. penalty. First down. First down. <laughs> Not only did that pretzel cover your face, but when we got to eat it, it was pretty good. It was really good, but it didn't come with cheese. <laughs> came with mustard. Ooh, I love mustard. I know you do. Can I go get you a spoonful of mustard? Nope. A spoonful of mustard helps the medicine go down. Time now for the best piece of pizza, which was dressed up as a best piece of Italian bread covered in tomato sauce, cheese with pepperoni on top. Oh boy, was that good. It tasted like a dinner roll with tomato sauce, delicious Parmesan cheese, and some pepperoni. Remember how big that tray of pizza was? And the one piece of pizza could have filled our entire family. I know, it was about this thick. When you took a bite in, it wasn't like eating pizza. It was like eating a giant loaf of bread. So thick, but so delicious. I gotta be honest, the prices during our tour of all these countries was pretty good. Most of the food was very affordable. But the biggest waste of money came from this guy right here, in Germany, with caramel corn. <laughs> we ate 
ate plenty of that caramel corn despite what the video looked like and it really was delicious. It was really good. I'm pretty sure I ate some of it off the floor. And it tasted like Mickey's feet. <laughs> Did you know the caramel corn was invented in Germany? Apparently, it came to Chicago with some brothers, what are their name, like Kuchenheimen or something? Kuchenheimen. In 1870. That was a long time ago. I was 11. Wow. For our favorite treat, we each get one. I personally loved the tiramisu. It was so delicious and straight from Italy. And it was amazing. Did you know there was espresso in there? There's espresso in there? Yeah, that's how we kept you up all day. I was up all day? <laughs> what was your favorite? I liked the school bread in Norway. I'd never had it before, and they kept it in a cool area. So when you opened it up, the custard on the inside was cold, and it was sweet, but it wasn't too sweet. It was creamy, but it wasn't too creamy, and it was really refreshing and delicious. Want the good stuff? For an honorable mention, we brought in the pineapple Dole Whip. Oh, you can't go to Disney without getting a Dole Whip. It's like a Slurpee mixed with a smoothie mixed with a... Ice cream. We had an amazing time eating around the world at Epcot. I would recommend it to anybody. It took us a couple hours, but we got to sample foods literally from all over the place. It was spectacular. Maybe next time we can drink around the world. First I need an ID. That's okay in Florida, you only have to be 13. Really? <laughs> all right, before we leave you, we saved all our receipts from eating around the world just so we could do this. See you next time. The biggest waste of money came from Germany, where this guy right here tried to do something crazy with part Okay, okay, we get it. But the smell was... Eww. <laughs> bye bye